Hi everyone, my name's Simon. I'm the lead apps engineer with Football Guys. And we're going to talk a little bit here about the player pool in the DFS lineup optimizer. So I'm just going to uh, hide myself from this video so we can see the full player pool here. So on this screen, you can uh, sort by any of the many columns that we've got available from salary, ownership percentages that are projected. We've got uh, points upside, the maps, maximum exposure. Um, in the lineups that are built to each player. And then you've got lock players and excluding players, the exposure when we last generated lineups, H value, which is a measure of how likely a player is to be in the best lineups. We've got points per dollar. And then we've got strength of schedule information and a Vegas projection based on the over under um, and spread. For, for each team. So this is saying, for instance, here, Vegas 24, that the Panthers are expected to score 24 points against the Rams. OK, so all of these columns can be sorted. So what we're going to do to start with is we're going to sort by the H value column and we're going to get a list here of players who are quite likely to um, give us an efficient return given their salary and their points projection. And what we can do is we can then lock some of those players in. Um, so obviously you can only lock one quarterback at a time in. Um, so let's try locking Carson Wentz. And let's just say, as an example, that we didn't want any McCaffrey or carry on Johnson shares in week one. We can exclude those two guys from the player pool there. And then when we run a build, they won't feature in any of the lineups. But Carson Wentz will feature in all of those lineups. And you get a count here and you can see as well how many dollars you spent on your uh, locked players just to keep a, a track of that. So the next thing you might want to do is to edit the projections um, that are used when you're generating lineups. One really cool way of doing that is to edit the projection set balances in the tool. So we have three guys who do projections every week for offensive players at Football Guys, David Dodsmore, Tremblay and Sigmund Bloom. Sigmund's projections are not yet published because I'm doing this video in early August. Um, but they will be closer to week one. So you can change the balance here between these guys, turn to percentages or just balance your numbers so they add up to 100. And then you can hit apply. And that's just going to affect every player in the pool there, changing their projections according to that uh, new balance of the projections. Also, you can enter your own manual values here into the points column. So let's say instead we think instead of 21, Carson Wentz is likely to score 20. We hit 20. You can see when we changed the points projection to 20, it's automatically changed his upside in a direct ratio to that. Um, we could put the upside lower manually in the same way. Likewise, if we think Kirk Cousins is up for a great week, we can change his score there to 21. And another thing you can see here as we change these columns, um, green means higher than the Football Guys projection and red means lower than the Football Guys projection. Another thing you can change here um, is the uh, exposure percentage, the maximum percentage of lineups that feature that player. So if we put Carson Wentz on 10, what that means is if you generate 20 lineups, Carson Wentz won't be in more than two of those lineups. And you can edit that for any player. You can also see in this yellow bar across the top of the screen, we've got a number of keyboard shortcuts that allow you to go through this list very quickly and kind of make changes. So you can kind of go through and you think, nah, McCaffrey 25, I think that's a little bit too high. So if you hit the A button there, that's just going to take 0.5 of a point off McCaffrey every time you hit it. Likewise, if I hit W, that's going to put a point on or Q, or Q adds half a point on. Um, and then finally, S takes a whole point off. So you can just hit that as many times as you need um, until you've got the projection right about where you want it. Um, so those keyboard shortcuts are really useful. And the last one is if you wanted just to reset these values back to the Football Guys projection, you can just hit the E button there. And that's just going to reset them straight back to what we have as a result of those projection, projection set balances that we already entered. Lastly, if you like to do your own projections entirely from scratch, you can upload those into the system here. There's a sample file for reference um, that just explains the format that we need there. And you can just upload the file into that system 
and you can also clear all your data out if you want to completely reset back to square one. So there we go, that's how to edit the player pool. And of course, it's really important, especially for GPPs, just to put your own preference in, into, into here so you don't get hung up on generating the same lineups as everyone else with Football Guys. Um, and then once you're imported um, and you're set up and good to go, you can just build your lineups in the way outlined by the previous Getting Started video. So be sure to check that one out on this channel if you haven't already.